Why is it necessary to clean the vessels of the head? How did doctors in the Soviet Union do it? What is the relevance of ascorbic acid and hirudotherapy? Why clean the blood vessels of the head? The blood vessels of the head need to be cleaned in order to ensure proper blood circulation in the brain. Over time, the inner surface of the vessels can become filled with fatty deposits, proteins, cholesterol, and other substances, which can lead to the narrowing of the vessels and hinder the flow of blood through them. This can result in a range of issues, including dizziness, headaches, memory and concentration problems, high blood pressure, and even stroke. Therefore, to prevent these problems, it is important to monitor the condition of the blood vessels in the head and clean them regularly. The Soviet Scientist Nezmayanov Method Soviet academician Alexander Nikolaevich Nezmayanov proposed using ascorbic acid for cleaning the blood vessels of the head. The idea was that vitamin C could improve the functioning of the cardiovascular system due to several of its properties. Firstly, ascorbic acid is an important factor in the synthesis of collagen, the main structural material of blood vessel walls. This allows them to remain strong and flexible, improving blood circulation. Secondly, vitamin C lowers the overall level of cholesterol in the blood and improves the ratio of good and bad cholesterol. This reduces the risk of developing atherosclerosis and cardiovascular diseases. Thirdly, ascorbic acid is a powerful antioxidant that protects the body's cells from damage caused by free radicals. This helps reduce inflammation and damage to blood vessel walls. The fourth ability of ascorbic acid is to improve endothelial function. The endothelium is a layer of cells that covers the inner surface of blood vessels. Vitamin C improves its condition, promoting more efficient blood flow and reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. The fifth property of this vitamin is its ability to reduce stress levels. Ascorbic acid improves mood and reduces stress, which also protects against blood pressure fluctuations that negatively affect blood circulation in the vessels of the head. Features of using ascorbic acid It is important to consider that ascorbic acid is quickly broken down in the body. Its half-life is about 30 minutes. This means that after half an hour of consumption, half of the vitamin C is already destroyed, and after an hour, only a quarter of the DOS remains. Additionally, vitamin C is not synthesized by our bodies. This is due to evolutionary changes. Many mammals have an enzyme capable of synthesizing vitamin C, however, in humans, this enzyme has lost its functionality due to evolutionary changes, and we must obtain vitamin C from external food sources. Ascorbic acid is found in large quantities in citrus fruits, kiwi, berries, peppers, broccoli, potatoes, cabbage, and tomatoes. During the summer season when vegetables and fruits ripen, it is not difficult to obtain the recommended daily dose of vitamin C, which is about 90 mg. However, it is important to remember that in large quantities, ascorbic acid can cause some side effects such as diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Therefore, do not exceed the recommended dose of this vitamin. How else are blood vessels in the head cleaned? Soviet doctors proposed various methods for cleaning the blood vessels in the head, including lifestyle changes, diet, physical exercises, massage, medication therapy, and other methods. One of the most common methods was related to diet. Doctors recommended reducing the consumption of animal fats and salt, while increasing the intake of fruits, vegetables, greens, fish, and other nutrient-rich foods. Physical exercises were also recommended to improve blood circulation in the head. Various exercises for the neck and head, including rotations, tilts, and circular movements, could help improve blood flow and reduce muscle tension. Head and neck massage was also a common method. Massage promotes improved blood circulation and relaxation of the muscles in the head and neck which contributes to better blood flow to the brain. In addition, medication therapy was used for cleaning the blood vessels in the head. Various medications such as aspirin, nitropil, nicotinic acid, and others could help improve blood flow in the head and protect cells from damage. Special Method An undeservedly forgotten method for improving the blood vessels of the head is hirudotherapy. 
The essence of this method lies in the use of medical leeches. Hirudotherapy can be used to treat various conditions such as varicose veins, thrombophlebitis, hemorrhoids, hypertension, arthritis, migraines, bronchial asthma, digestive disorders, weakened immune system, and many others. Soviet doctors used hirudotherapy to cleanse the blood vessels of the head by applying medical leeches to the patient's neck, in the area of the carotid arteries. These paired arteries supply the brain with blood, and impaired blood circulation in them can lead to various conditions such as strokes, dizziness, and headaches. By attaching to the patient's skin, the leeches secrete special enzymes into the blood, which reduce blood clotting, improve blood flow, and dilate blood vessels. This helps reduce the burden on the vascular system and enhance the quality of blood circulation in the brain, which has a beneficial effect on the patient's health. Hirudotherapy can also lead to a decrease in cholesterol levels, improved metabolism, and a reduction in inflammatory processes in the body. Additionally, medical leeches contain a rich complex of biologically active substances that have a general strengthening effect on the patient's body. Overall, hirudotherapy was one of the treatment methods used in Soviet medicine to improve blood circulation and cleanse the blood vessels of the head. However, like any treatment method, Hirudotherapy has its contraindications and requires skills and experience for proper application, so it should only be performed under the supervision of a qualified doctor. Who is contraindicated for hirudotherapy? Treatment with leeches is contraindicated in several conditions. Firstly, it should not be used in patients with hemophilia and other blood clotting disorders, as medical leeches secrete anticoagulants into the blood, which can lead to increased bleeding. Secondly, hirudotherapy can worsen anemia in patients with low hemoglobin levels in the blood. Thirdly, hirudotherapy can intensify the immune response of the body and lead to increased symptoms of oncological diseases. The fourth contraindication is pregnancy and breastfeeding. Hirudotherapy can lead to the development of bleeding and other complications in pregnant and nursing women. The fifth issue is that some patients may develop an allergic reaction to proteins present in the saliva of medical leeches. And finally, do not use this method for liver and kidney diseases due to the increased load on these organs from the substances secreted by leeches into the blood. How do you improve blood circulation in the vessels of the head? Share your experience in the comments. What topics would you like to see in our channel's videos? Comment below and let us know which health issues need to be covered more frequently in our videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.